Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today, I have some tinted lip balm products that are comfortable on the lips and can be used in place of a lipstick. As my lips have recently been getting increasingly dry, I got very interested in lip balm products. Since this might be the case for some of you as well, I thought to myself, why not make a video on them for everyone as well? I picked out lip balms from five different brands. After reviewing each product from each brand, I'll also take some time to compare them as well. So let's get started. The products I brought today are from Dr. Belmer, Dear Dahlia, Natural Shine, Innisfree, and Ate Beauty. These are all tinted lip balm products that come in different colors. So let me start off with Dr. Belmer's lip balm. Dr. Belmer's Advanced Sika Touch Lip Balm comes in red, coral, and pink, a total of three colors. It's said to be a hypoallergenic color lip balm for daily use that moisturizes the lips without stickiness, providing the comfort of a lip balm and natural colors all at once. This product is said to contain Sika, which is an ingredient that's often found in skincare products. It's said to comfortably soothe sensitive skin with five kinds of Sika ingredients, along with 12 additive free prescriptions. In addition, it's said to have completed the skin irritation test so it can be used on sensitive skin. I personally think that it's the first time I've ever seen a lip balm that contains Sika, and it seems that it would really have a great calming effect since it contains Sika. Being a hypoallergenic product, it applies on really comfortably, feeling smooth as if it melts onto your lips as you apply it on. Pink is said to be a pure pink color that makes your lips look naturally lively, therefore it's also recommended for men. Coral is said to be a bright coral pink color that gives off a lovely vibe, so it's also recommended for students. Lastly, red is said to be a vivid tomato red color that gives your lips a vivid red tint while providing your lips with a lip balm effect all at once. When trying on these lip balms, they appear to have a fresh scent, so I checked the ingredient list and saw they contain fragrance. It's said to have a fresh citrus herb scent, so I think it's probably best for those who are sensitive to fragrances to probably avoid using them. Next for Dear Dahlia's lip balm. Dear Dahlia's Blooming Edition Paradise Tinted Blooming Balm comes in only one color. It's said to be a tinted lip balm that responds to the condition of the lips and develops bright colors with the color that best matches the individual skin tone. When looking at the lip balm and at the area when applied on, I can see some shimmery pearls. It's very pretty when it shines. Dear Dahlia itself is a cruelty-free and vegan brand, so when even looking at the ingredient list, I couldn't find any bad ingredients on the list. Instead, it does contain artificial pigments as it's a tinted product, but it does not contain any fragrance. I feel that it's a good lip balm because it's apparently free of any bad ingredients that I can usually find in many other products. When reading the reviews on this product, there were some who have mentioned that it was not moist, but I personally felt that it was more moisturizing than I expected and seemed to feel smooth. With one color, I thought it'd be a color that could be like and dislike with little bright baby pink color, but it seems to be pretty because it contains shimmery pearls. Dear Dahlia always seems to have a pretty design, so the desire to collect their products always burns deep within me. What I found to be slightly disappointing was the lack of information about this lip balm on their site, providing only minimal information about it. But it provides us with a list of ingredients, so we're able to check the site to see the full list of what's inside. Next is Natural Shine's Lip Balm. Natural Shine's Luxe Triple Lip Curve Balm is consisted of a Athena Balm, Hera Balm, Muse Balm, and Thaya Balm, a total of four colors. It's said to have a melting formulation with the use of vegetable wax and sheer butter, which forms a moisture barrier. It's said to be increasingly moisturizing the more it's applied on, with the color accumulating as it's layered on. This product is said to be a natural 99.9% .9 natural color tint balm from pigments free of tart pigments and harmful ingredients and preservatives. It's said to contain ceramide and betaine that blocks water evaporation and provides deep moisture, olive, apricot seed, and coconut, which are high-quality vegetable oils that care for sensitive lips, and sheer butter and natural wax that protects the lips. In addition, it's said that the results from their simulation application test to the human body showed it to be non-irritating and is said to be a lip balm that can be used for children. Actually, most lip balms similar to these tend to contain artificial pigments, but as the pigments in these are all natural with no tar pigments whatsoever, they're safe to be used by children, so I think you can also use it without worries. And when I was searching about this lip balm, it said that if you steadily use this lip balm for about 3 days, you can see their lip smoothing effect and increase in color development. When applied, the texture seems to be a bit stiff, while it did feel smooth and it had the melting feel to it. The Athena Balm is said to be a red-orange color that enhances the skin tone. The Hera Balm is said to be a lovely pink-red color with a high saturation. The Muse Balm is said to be a pink-rosy coral color with a soft apricot and orange feel. 
The Taeya Balm is said to be a red grateful color that brings vitality to your face as if it was a fluorescent light. Personally, I think the colors of Natural Shine lip balms are the most natural. I think the advantage of these lip balms is that it's said that it's possible to be applied with a watercolor like gradation or as a full lip when used like a lipstick because the natural color becomes darker when layered. Next is the Innisfree Lip Balm. Innisfree Simple Label Lip Color Balm comes in rose, peony, and dahlia a total of three colors. It's said to have a mild vegan formula that gently applies onto the skin and contains soothing Jejohydrangea microphylla leaf extract which is said to provide lip care for external irritation. It's said to contain murumuru butter, sheer butter, and metal foam seed oil which prevents dryness of the lips and maintains moisture for a long time. In addition, it's also if vegan certified, has been tested for dermatology and hypoallergenic, and is said to be free of 10 additives. Innisfree Simple Label is a line that includes not only this lip balm but also other products. From what I know, this Simple Label line itself is their vegan line. Through searching online, I found that they state that they renew their vegan certification every 18 months. And I also mentioned that they are free of 10 additives. In addition to being a vegan product, it also doesn't contain any fragrances, so I think it would be safe for people who have sensitive skin. It melts on as it applies and has a slightly thick oily feel to it. Number 1 Rose is said to be a mood marker wine red color that contains sweet potato root extract. Number 2 Peony is said to be a pure soft pink color. Number 3 Dahlia is said to be a warm MLBB coral brown color. While the melting application feels a bit thick, I find them to be the second smoothest in application. Overall, the colors seem to feel a bit warm and I think they're nice colors that apply on naturally. Next is the Ate Beauty's Lip Balm. Ate Beauty's authentic lip balm consists of a total of 6 colors, but I only have 3 of the 6 colors with me today. Number 2 Lovely, Number 4 Brave, and Number 6 Lucid. As a highly moisturizing lip balm that doesn't use any animal ingredients and is certified by French Eat Vegan, it's said to care for the skin cells with bromelain and moisturizes the lips with peach seed oil. It's also said to have been fermented twice and to have been safely prescribed with an increased strength high functional formula from Clean Swiss Plant Energy. It was developed with Innovate Technology through joint research with the best Mebel R&D laboratory in Switzerland and is said to have excluded animal testing and animal ingredients 11 kinds of harmful ingredients is paraben-free and have completed skin irritation testing. Ate Beauty itself is also a vegan brand so the products are all vegan. It feels a bit oily but personally, I think it feels lighter than Innisfree's. Number 2 Lovely seems to be a bright cool pink color. Number 4 Brave seems to be a vivid red color. Number 6 Lucid seems to have a bit grayish dried rose color. Not only is Ate vegan, it's also a cruelty-free brand as they don't perform any testing on animals. In addition, as they don't contain any artificial coloring or fragrances, I think it can be used at easy. I think it's great especially for those who prefer vegan or cruelty-free products. So like this, I've introduced all the lip balm products I've recently got my hands on. There were a lot of natural and pretty colors with some also being bright and vivid colors. But on the other hand, there were some that didn't have that moist lip balm texture than I expected. So now let me do a comparison of these products. There were some products that were vegan among the product I brought, and the vegan products were Dear Dahlia's, Innisfree's, and Ate Beauty's. Products that didn't contain artificial pigments were Natural Shines and Innisfree. And all the products except for Dr. Belmer's didn't contain any artificial fragrance. I personally think that they're all good enough to be used on all lip types, but for those whose lips are extremely sensitive to fragrance, I recommend using Dear Dahlia's, Innisfree's, Natural Shines, and Ate Beauty's. In my opinion, the order based on the moistness of the formulation from most to least is Dr. Belmer, Innisfree, Ate Beauty, Dear Dahlia, and Natural Shine. I also listed them in the order from the lightest to the darkest pigmentation. When actually looking at it, the colors that were lightest was Natural Shine, Ate Beauty, Innisfree, Dear Dahlia, and Dr. Belmer. Like this, I've introduced and compared some lip balms. I chose to check out tinted lip balm products because they've piqued my interest lately. My lips tend to get dry these days, so I couldn't stop using lip balms, and since they're tinted, they're great to use without the need of applying on something else for color. If there are any of you who want to try a lip balm with colors, I think it would be nice to give it a try. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!